Hi guys, uh, this is the part 3 uh, video about uh, multicast routing. In the previous videos, uh, I have explained about uh, multicast overview, its IP addressing, RPF checks, the dense mode and dispersed mode uh, and uh, the protocols like PIM and IGMP. In this video, uh, we will see how to configure multicast in a lab environment and uh, how to verify it is working. And we will also see uh, the multicast uh, troubleshooting uh, checks. I have given six points troubleshooting steps which we can use in the lab and also in production environment. Um, let's go to the video. So this is the topology. We have a source 10.0010 sending traffic for the group 239.1.1.1. And uh, we have the first hop router as ASR1K. Six, you can name it and um, ASR 1K2 that I'm going to uh, act as an RP. The RP address will be 10.0.0.20, the loopback address. Then it goes to a Nexus 7K uh, device and in between them we also have a Cisco 2900. So the receivers are all connected uh, like uh, 150, 50.1 uh, and 2020.20.2, uh, both receiver connected to Nexus 7K. Then we have RP, then it goes to the source. So in a multicast terminology, the router that is connected to the source, directly connected to the source, we call it as a first hop router. Then you have a RP router. Then the device that is connected to um, the receivers, we call it as a last hop router as a terminology. That's what I'm going to use in this training. So first we will see the configuration done on this ASR 1K6, the first hop router. Uh, we have to enable the multicast routing with the IP multicast routing distributed in the global uh, configuration mode. Then we statically configure the RP address 10.0.0.20 with the IP PIM RP address, the RP address of uh, ASR 1K2 loopback address here. And uh, under the loopback address also we give IP PIM's pass mode. And under these physical interfaces, we also give IP PIM's pass mode. So this is the configuration required in order for this ASR 1K6 to participate in the multicast routing. Then in uh, RP router, that is ASR 1K2 RP, uh, same IP multicast routing distributed, then IP PIM RP. This is a local uh, loopback, so it will uh, uh, resume the role of an RP router. Again on the loopback, on the physical interfaces like EG000001, we enable the IP PIM pass mode. Now on the last hop router, that is on this Nessus sound k we have to activate the future PIM under global configuration, IP PIM RP address, statically specifying the RP address. Again, on all the interfaces, uh, we have to enable the IP PIM's pass mode. That is on the interfaces that goes to the neighboring routers and also to the uh, receiving receiver side. Again, similar thing uh, with this um, uh, C2900 router as well. Now, we log into the first stop router and uh, verify whether the source is sending the traffic here right when there is no traffic uh, we won't see anything we just see the 224.0.1.40 by default you will see this this is for the auto rp multicast ip now we go into the rp router again we give the command show ip m root uh, we don't see any entries because there is no traffic coming from either source or from the receiver now finally we go into the Nexus, um, this Nexus 7K where the receivers are connected. So there also I don't see any entries and uh, show IP, IGMP, group summary, we don't see any entries because there is no traffic coming from the receiver side. Now the receiver started sending the uh, membership queries for the particular group address 239.1.1. Uh, so now we can receive the uh, entries on the Nexus with the show. IP IGMP uh, groups. We can see the tra membership queries coming for uh, the group address 239.1.1.1 and uh, it is learning dynamically and is receiving on this interface uh, 3 slash 3. And uh, only thing you can see here is uh, basically from 150.50.1 I uh, statically configured that entry and uh, for this uh, 2020 20.2 receiver IP that is coming uh, dynamically that is why you see type dynamic here and also the expire time where I configured static it shows never and uh, there is an expire time for a receiver that is coming dynamically. 
so we confirmed on the nexus 7k we do receive uh, this uh, astis kamaji that is uh, it doesn't know the source but it knows the group for which he needs to get the traffic now in the rp router after receiving after the receiver starts sending the membership query we can see the astis kamaji entry as below we can see the outgoing interface gigi 001 from which we are getting the astis kamaji entry so on the rp i give the scale command to show ip yum root and i can see the astis kamaji that is we don't know the source but we need uh, traffic for this particular group 239.1.1.1 and in the rp we can see on interface 001 from this interface which is connected to nexus we are receiving this uh, request now we are checking in the rp router we are getting the multicast stream traffic uh, for group 239.1.1.1 on the rp router we can see the Uh, S comma G entry, the resource for this particular group, which is sending the traffic, uh, with the incoming interface connected to the source router. Also, you can see the flag shows as PT, which means the receiving uh, the receiver router uh, pruned itself. That is the nexus, uh, because once it got the source router IP address, it will check the shortest path to the source and switch the traffic to the um, sh source path three. from shared path tree it will switch to source path tree that happens immediately when it knows uh, about the source ip address that's why in this output you can see uh, the flag shows as pt it means that uh, receiver router pruned itself so now we look into the show ip yum root detail the outputs from the nexus 7k s comma g we can see the amount of traffic passing on this interface for this group address 239.1.1.1 and source 10.0.0.10. So we give show IP M root uh, in the nexus that is the last stop router where um, the receivers are connected. So right? we are giving the show IP M root here in the nexus 7K. So we see the source IP and the group for which uh, we are requesting the traffic, and uh, we can see the incoming interface, and we also see the outgoing interface. That is three slash two. and uh, outgoing interfaces that are your receivers basically so 3/2 that is connected to your rp that is showing us incoming and outgoing 3/1 and uh, show ip m root summary will give the um, statistics for that particular um, source how much uh, traffic is going you can see under this group 239.1.1.1 and we can see the source count only one source is sending the traffic here so that is uh, 10010 how many packets going and what is the rate the traffic is passing on so in a normal uh, production environment if the receiver and uh, if the receiver basically re getting the traffic for that particular source on the last stop router show ip m root summary we can see from uh, that particular uh, group uh, the traffic is passing or not properly or not here so that's it uh, about uh, how to configure and uh, how to verify the traffic is passing through uh, the multicast enabled devices so the main command is to check uh, your uh, let's start with the last stop router we give show ip igmp uh, group it will show for the particular group whether the membership queries are coming then uh, on the rp we log in and check this is the rp router output show ip m root we need to see that um, uh, astis comma g entry from the receivers for a particular group the request is coming so now once rp receives that uh, s comma g entry that is uh, which source sending traffic for that group that will inform the uh, nexus that uh, again in nexus if you show ip m root you can see in the nexus um, the source and the group id and again whether the traffic is even after this learning whether traffic is going or not we can confirm uh, with the command show ip m root uh, summary on the uh, last stop router so next uh, we will check uh, the multicast uh, troubleshooting um So before that, uh, whoever watching the video, if, make sure you click on the subscribe button and also the bell button so that when I upload new videos, you will get an alert. So the troubleshooting uh, multicast uh, scenarios, uh, we have to 
understand the problem uh, statement what actually not working most of the time it will be like particular group the traffic is not passing like uh, when we give this command uh, show ip m node summary in the last stop loader where the receivers are connected you won't see any traffic rate uh, for that particular group or you won't see any entry itself for the particular group so the first thing to check is for which multicast group address the traffic is not passing and understand the topology like uh, where uh, the source uh, ip address is connected i mean you you should know uh, for which multicast group there is an impact and we need to understand uh, what are the source ip address sending traffic for that particular group in in this lab environment i given only one source but in a real time there can be multiple source that can send traffic for the particular group so we need to understand which source sending traffic and that source is connected to which router you need to log into the router and check whether you see the entry uh, s comma g entry uh, on the first stop router and also on the rp right and uh, again on the receiver we need to know what are the receiver ips which is getting affected and we need to check on the router where the receiver is connected and uh, find uh, whether uh, that receiver membership core is hitting that uh, uh lost stop router right and uh, finally we need to log into the rp and see whether those s comma g and s comma g entries are registering in rp so that's what i given here check traffic coming from the source and receivers hitting the router properly that is the first thing most of the time it won't happen when there is a problem check the pim neighborship on all the involved routers so you need to give pim neighborship command and check whether the even after you enable whether the pim neighborship is coming between these devices uh, we need to know then only those uh, um, join pro messages register messages all these uh, messages will get exchanged then uh, check rp is getting learned by the source and the receiver routers so source and receiver router first of all should know which router is an rp router so that we have to confirm then check the m route outputs for the right interfaces as is comma g and s comma g entries are coming like how we saw here uh, this uh, s comma g is coming uh, from which particular interface right we also see here also right um, you can see s comma g coming from uh, gigi 000 whether that is coming from the right interface once you confirm all the five checkpoints um, if you still not able to isolate where the problem is uh, the final option is to enable the debug outputs whether the right operation happening on all routers and remember debug command is to be used in a maintenance window in a production uh, never run this in the lab environment only for your learning purpose you can do this so debug ip multicast topology debug ip multicast rpf track debug ip pim if you are troubleshooting only for the particular group address you can try that and again debug ip igmp you can give you can see in the debug outputs uh, it shows uh, join list hash is comma g and that is coming from which interface all those informations and uh, the report message for that particular um, uh, group address and in this we can see the particular uh, rp address received the rip notification we are uh, gigi 0/1 i mean this debug is basically running here we are receiving uh, information about this uh, source ip address 10.0020 and that is announced by this ip 150.40.2 which you can see here and that information is coming via this interface 0/1 so this is the path basically in the debug we can confirm that it is receiving from the about the uh, source and uh, is coming via this interface and for this router it is sending uh, by this 40.2 so this is just a prune join prune message coming to that uh, 150 1.1.2 which we receive actually and again these are the things normally we check uh, s comma g entries and uh, in sr 1k nexus there is a command show ip m fib then the group address there we can confirm whether uh, the entries are there in the software and the hardware forwarding and uh, important thing is uh, show ip pim tunnel you can see pim encapsulation d encapsulation and also if you activate the multicast uh, in 
uh, devices you can check the tunnel interface created here show IP interface brief on the tunnel interface uh, we can see the RP address here this is coming because Uh, so normally this is the topology we used right so so in the RP you will have a tunnel created because when a packet coming from your first stop router to RP it is an basically an encapsulated packet and uh, RP has to de-encapsulate that packet and forward the information to Nexus so between the first stop router and the RP there is a, a tunnel um, it will basically the packet is not sent with a normal plain IP it will be an encapsulated uh, packet uh, registering about uh, traffic coming from particular source to this group so there will be a tunnel between them so that has to be created so if something is broken you also have to confirm whether this uh, tunnel is up uh, show IPPM tunnel this is in Cisco term other vendors might have in a different form so um, show IPPM tunnel uh, you should have these uh, two tunnel interfaces one for uh, encapsulation and one for de-encapsulations so even if it is not forming that can create a problem in your uh, multicast forwarding so these are some more commands um, you can give show IP M root shared tree where you see uh, the asterisk comma G entries and show M root source tree where you can see the S, G, the source IP and the uh, group address. So in a shared tree basically is the S, G entry. Uh, what are the incoming interfaces uh, requesting for the particular group address? In this case, this is 239.2.2.2. And uh, again, source tree is basically reaching directly to the source. So we, we know 10.10.1, uh, 10, .10, .1, 10 is the source IP for which this traffic is uh, getting forwarded. So show IP M root shared tree and show IP M root uh, source tree will give the entries whatever the lost stop router is learning. So that's it I have for uh, multicast uh, troubleshooting. So multicast you have uh, many options you have MEPN normal multicast then any source any cast multicast uh, MSDP whatever uh, the platform of multicast troubleshooting that you are doing this checkpoint is going to be the basic you need to understand. Um, which group is basically affected and uh, you need to uh, probe and check which uh, source IPs that are sending traffic for this uh, group and identify which is the source uh, connector router that is the first hub router and check the RP where it is located and uh, check which is the last stop router where the receivers are connected and again check which receivers are about to request and which are getting impacted the receiver IP address so then again check whether uh, traffic from the source hitting the first up router traffic from my receiver hitting the last up router and check the S, G and asterisk G entries on the RP. So this fundamental uh, uh, troubleshooting is going to be the same any form of multicast uh, uh, troubleshooting that you are going to do and um, I mean the last option is for you to use the debug. Thank you for watching the video. Um, Make sure you click on the subscribe button and the bell button to get alerts uh, uh, when I upload the next part. Thank you.